Okay, welcome to Rebel Racing. It seems to be having trouble loading. There you go. Um, uh, I guess it's fine if you see that. Um, I thought I'd get this done quickly because I have five videos to edit tonight and it is already 8.55 and I plan on getting at least planning to go to bed. Oh, I should probably do not disturb. I need to plan to attempt to start getting to bed at least at 10. So I need to get on with it. Um, I have been thinking, considering it is quite evident that this series is going to go for a lot longer than I had been planning, I should probably put some more videos in between, so it's not just Rebel Racing for a month and a half straight. We've already had, this is the ninth video straight of Rebel Racing, so I'm going to shut other ones in. It's still going to be probably three or four in a row of this, then something else, three or four in a row, then something else. It may go less than that in a row, I don't know. But I think it is something we need to do because I don't want the other series to become something that's so few and far between that it's almost like it's not happening. We've actually had to fight a bit for this one. That's one of the closer, except for when I fuck up, one of the closer test drives we've ever had. And also, and probably kind of more importantly as well, to be honest, doing more of the other episodes will mean Short Life will get finished. And I'll be able to get on to the other games, which I am quite excited about. So obviously when this finishes, Pure Sniper, whatever it comes in, Pure Sniping, whatever the game's called, is going to be the replacement. Bloody hell. And then when Short Life finishes, the racing game replacement comes in, and that is, well, Rally 1. Jeez, we're only going to miss from Pure car um, dominance, that was not a good race for me, so Rally 1 will replace Short Life, and this will be replaced by Pure Sniping, or Pure Sniper, or whatever it's called, and then obviously, again, we've already seen Fail Run is what's replaced, um, well, it's not, for me, recording this has not come out yet, the first video of that, it's been a while for you guys already, um, in fact, it's quite a while from coming out, so I think, for me. I think it's still a couple of days away, maybe even a week. Anyway, um, I've got no replacement for that game yet, because that game is just getting started, really. And it shouldn't be too long, though, and I will be finding one, I assume, fairly soon. I don't know how long that game actually goes through. I was thinking of doing another sports talks video. To the, uh, I was thinking of actually bringing it back properly today. Um, by today, I mean the 6th of July. That's when this is being recorded. Or was it 7th? I wish I could watch mid race. Probably dumb idea. 7th of July. Um, that's when this has been recorded because the Melbourne game just happened and yeah, the first half was less than good. Um, but in the end, some players came with it. Oscar Allen came good. Um, Darling, I don't get why I get so much hate. He was good as always. He's never really bad. He doesn't get that good at stats, but the stuff he does off the ball, when the little taps he does to our advantage, he does so much for the team that he doesn't get any credit for because he doesn't show in the stats. And people just look for the bad things. Like he'll have the performance he had today, play well, be a major part of every goal basically, and he will only get any um, mention in terms of the one kick he did that went out of bounds when he was trying to hit up Oscar. That's all they'll mention, even though he had, I don't know how many good touches today, he tapped us on from a really a dead finished attack and tapped it on, created a chance for a goal, which we ended up missing anyway, because it was shit. But he's such an integral part, he just finds a way to get shit done, even if he just breaks the pack and opens the space for someone else to come through, or if he, whatever it might be, he does so much more than he gets credit for. People just seem to not like him, I think, because he's not become the player they think he was supposed to become. Anyway, enough talking about... Oh, shit. About footy, if I was making an episode on it, I should have actually made a proper episode, not... waffling about it in a Rebel Racing video. I just don't think it's really worth the video yet. I will say holding the boost to the end of the turn is beneficial sometimes for sure. Especially on the tighter turns. I think it's not so I think it's a little 
on the it's kind of like the grand beach tour whatever it's called that crap track that i hate but i think it's so important because it's quite wide turns i think it's actually better to get this extra speed through the bend because you don't lose that much speed anyway um oh shit but on these tracks where you have slower corners i think it is good to get that boost out of the corner like that guy was saying can never remember your name sorry mate you know you are I think it is beneficial on these tracks with slower corners for you get that explosive power out, but on the wider corners I think it's actually better to boost through the corner like I've been doing. So I will take your advice, but only on ways. Let's just say like this corner here, if we had more pace, I don't think it'd be worth doing because it's not you're not gonna lose much pace on the bend itself. This one here, though I'm not gonna use if I could you can oh, tap it off, can't you? No, you can't. Okay, well, I've just wasted it. That's all right. Like, we would use it now to boost out that corner because you lose a lot of speed in that corner. That might be the end, mightn't it? Let's find out. It is. Well, that's a very quick episode done. I don't know why I'm going to task it. Um, I'll think of it later. Thanks, bye. See you when I see you.